Hey everyone, it's Fitz with the Daily Delivery, K-State Lost. I wrote about the great defense that K-State was playing, and they did play pretty good defense against West Virginia on Saturday in Morgantown. Unfortunately, they didn't play offense. Okay, Nigel Pack missed the game. It's just one thing after another, it seems like, with the program, but he had an eye infection. He sat on the bench wearing sunglasses like a boss, but he couldn't play. This team without Nigel Pack seems to be completely neutered. And after the game, Bruce Weber said, we just don't have enough ball handlers. Well, in a recruiting class with eight newcomers, maybe you should have gotten more than one ball handler. I mean, Rudy Williams is a ball handler. I guess you got two, but to be in trouble after one injury, it's just very troubling. Kansas State has jumped back into the 2021 recruiting class. Now, keep in mind, they have two open scholarships for 21. They have two commitments, signees for 21. So that means they obviously expect someone to leave, which I think we all do. But the fact that they're now looking at point guards in this class is very, very interesting. You can check that out at gopowercat.com. I believe that's up as free content as part of our national recruiting coverage. K-State lost 65 43 at West Virginia. Only in this season can K-State improve its defense so dramatically that it can hold West Virginia to 65 points on the road and they still lose by 22. They were just absolutely awful offensively and I would like to give credit to West Virginia's defense, which is always good, but they missed open shot after open shot and didn't seem to value possessions. Only thing working for them was Davion Bradford, the big freshman, Really seems to like it when he's got another big body to bang up against. And Bradford was just really efficient. He had 11 points, 6 rebounds. Yeah, I mean, that's not a great line, but that's the best you're going to get out of this game. K-State shot less than 30% from the field. Less than 30% from the field. Well, they will bring it home for one final game. Iowa State comes to Manhattan next Saturday for the rescheduled game with the Wildcats. And we'll see if they can finish the regular season on a high note before they play TCU in the Big 12 tournament.